Say you're bad from bitch bad. Tell her pussy we no gon' dip that. Like Chinese rice or the clip that. Dear Jasmine, dear Jasmine, dear Jasmine, dear Jasmine, dear Jasmine. I wonder if this love is everlasting. I promise not to treat you like your last. Hi babes, hi boo-boos, hi darlings, hi guys and welcome back to another video. Oh, oh. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my nighttime routine, specifically when I'm on my period. I've never shown you guys my nighttime routine, so I'm very excited to get into it. I planned this video not knowing that it was going to be Shark Week, and right when I started watching this movie, I was feeling it. So I decided to show you guys what I do when it's that time of the month to ease my crumbs, coupled with my shower routine and some of my favorite products. I couldn't really focus on the movie anymore at this point because for me, my crumbs start calm and build up in minutes. The one and two are really the worst for me, but do you know that when you're having the really bad period crumbs, that's your service just dilating to one centimeter. You have to be dilated to 10 centimeters to push out a baby. If this pain I'm having is what it feels like to be dilated at one centimeter, then 10 centimeters is going to kill me. Because <laughs> when I'm cramping, I feel like I'm about to pass out. I start sweating and hyperventilating to the point that I used to have to get painkiller injections because over-the-counter medication just didn't work. Listen, all I know is I'm taking that epidural right when I enter the hospital. In fact, they should meet me in the parking lot, in the car. When I see women in movies and they're like, oh, I'm having contractions. In my mind, I'm like, it's like period cramps. 10 times this that's scary i plated my leftover cup salad for dinner and to be honest i was not enjoying it i just didn't have the appetite capsules are a must for me and these maxi ones really help me a lot i know some people don't like to take painkillers but i cannot live without them i take the same brand's premenstrual capsules when i start seeing the signs days before the main event and only take these when she's here I unboxed some PR earlier today, so I'm just picking these boxes I left on the kitchen floor. Before this medication wears off, let me just tell you about this quickly. You guys know I love a bit of everything. Beauty, fashion, wellness, home goodies, pretty much everything. But I am particularly obsessed with skincare. I'm either always buying them or I'm getting gifted some. I love trying new things. So if you're anything like me, you're going to be very, very excited about what I'm going to show you. If you watched my vacation prep video, this box is not new to you, except it's a different color. And I've already spoken about the brand just a little bit, but in case you didn't watch that video, let me tell you all about Fab Fit Fun. This box is the box for you. Each season, that's four times out of the year, you get a customizable box that comes packed with full size products i got the winter box the last time this is the spring box for my spring box these are the items that i picked 
this box alone is valued up to $350. You heard that right. I want you to really guess how much you think a box costs. It will blow your mind. Went online and looked at the prices for each of the items. Let's go through them together and we can add them up. The first thing that I got is this salad bowl. It's a really nice and solid bowl. I really like it. You guys know I'm on a healthy journey, right? This bowl is going to really come in handy for all my salads that I'm going to be making. That's the first item that I got. Are you seeing the prices? I'm writing it right. You've seen the price of that one. I also picked shampoo and conditioner from this brand. I haven't really heard of the brand before, and I think it was about like $37 or something. I'm looking forward to trying these. And then I also picked St. Jane SPF 30 sunscreen. This sunscreen is $38. It has a really, really nice packaging as well. It's a luxury brand, guys. I'm excited to use that. I also got this from First Aid Beauty. This is their facial radiance pad glycolic and lactic acids this is used to exfoliate and smoothen and brighten your skin this product is about 50 us dollars that's the value of that we're going up i also got this shower gel from chorus this is the shower gel olive blossom this was about 25 dollars i'm actually gonna try this in the shower i want to know what's gonna do for my skin so that's that and the last thing i got which is probably the most expensive thing in the box so this is a gym bag from beyond yoga and it's a convertible one you can wear it as a backpack or as a shoulder bag the quality of this is so so freaking good it also has this compartment right here underneath it for like i don't know shoes whatever guys i checked online this bag alone about 110 dollars how much are we at how much do you think the box is if you guessed 59.99 you're right let me spill the tea on how you can join the fab fit fun family there are two ways to subscribe seasonal where you're billed every three months or annual where you pay upfront for the whole year here's where it gets exciting if you decide to go for the seasonal option you can use my code jasmine to get 20 percent off your first box so instead of paying 59.99 you're actually gonna get the box for 47.99 on the other hand if you're ready to commit to an annual membership you can use my code jasmine gift using that code gets your surprise gift that is worth over 200 dollars come on don't miss out on these amazing deals okay because this is crazy Look at how much the items are actually worth and how much you're buying it for. It is a sweet deal. The links are down below and if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments, okay? Before I go shower, I do want to say a big thank you to Bob Fit Fun for sponsoring today's video. I can't wait for next season's box reading. With that out of the way, I headed into the bathroom. The first thing I'm going to do is restock my pads container. I don't do tampons. I have them for if my friends need them, but personally, I feel uncomfortable when I use them. Pads and period underwears all day. It really doesn't matter the brand, but I mostly gravitate towards the always brand. I'm just used to it. I've used it ever since I started my period. I'm gonna be soaking in the tub today because a bath helps me unwind, relax my abdominal muscles, which in turn provides some sort of relief from my cramps. But before that, I wanted to put on a face mask and let it dry while I'm in the tub. This is currently my favorite mask and it is a red bean mask. Even though it exfoliates your skin, the particles are small enough and not too rough to use when I'm breaking out. I apply that all over my face and gently work it in. I run the bath right after and I religiously take baths on every day one of my period. This helps me feel and sleep better. I added some Epsom salts from Dr. Teal's which is going to relax my muscles. I always add it to my baths even on regular days because the magnesium in Epsom salts does so much for the body. Also added Dr. Teal's sleep bath so I know I'm sleeping really good tonight. This also contains the same Epsom salts infused with melatonin. I really love the smell of these lavender bath bombs from Cargan, so I added one to the bath as well.
I also added this shower gel that I just unboxed for extra scent and foam. Before getting in, I need to clean my downstairs, so I'm going to use my portable bidet. Listen, what are you doing if you don't own a bidet? This has changed my life, okay? I keep it tucked away in the corner and use it every time I use the washroom. It keeps me fresh and clean always. As my man would say, pum pum tight and clean. So... I'm not playing about this, okay? I'm looking to get a compact one that I can keep in my purse to use on the go because this one is just too big, but it is so easy to use. I just fill it with lukewarm water and spray away. Setting the vibe is very important to me, so I lit some candles and turned off the light. The candles just set the mood, you know, it gives me the spa vibe and the whole place just smells heavenly. Now I needed to set the bath. Bath, tub, tray, caddies are just essential. I'm playing some calm, relaxing spa music on my iPad. And a glass of wine to enjoy. My favorite is pink Moscato. It is sweet and has a cherry raspberry flavor to it. I hadn't had wine in a minute, so I was really ready for this. I'll also be reading this book I recently got titled The Courage to be Disliked. If you watched my other video, I mentioned how I've not been in a good place mentally and I'm really trying to work on myself. This book teaches you how to become your best self, change your mind and find lasting happiness within yourself. It essentially explains through conversation how we are all free to determine our own future and we need to be free of the shackles of past experiences, doubts and the expectations of others because we cannot live up to that. I haven't read much of it but I'm already learning so much. I almost dozed off guys the bath with the wine almost took me out I could lay in there forever but it's time to take my shower I'm using my method body wash which smells divine I love this soap because it gets you squeaky clean but it's really the scent that made me fall in love with it that together with my sapo <laughs> which people call African net sponge on this side of the world is top tier combo and it leaves my skin so soft if you use a loofah or a bath cloth or that exfoliating glove I'm judging you you need some authentic Ghana sapo. I promise you regret it. And now let's go ahead and exfoliate. I'm using this body scrub from Josie Moran. I was gifted this and have been loving it. The texture is so smooth and gentle on the skin because it contains argan oil. I use this all over and once I rinse it off, it leaves the oil behind so my skin is not dry when I come out. Next, I'm using this feminine wash from VH Essentials for my downstairs area. This wash is gentle, fragrance free and a small amount does the trick. I know not everyone is for using soap down there but I think you should especially one that won't disturb your pH balance and this 
this one definitely does it for me i then went in with my foot brush and scrub i randomly grabbed this foot scrub from winners because my foot cracks and gets all rough especially during winter if i'm not scrubbing it in between pedicures this is very very helpful to me once out of the shower i needed to get my mask off my face it's dry at this point so i wet it a little bit and work it in more like i mentioned this mask leaves my skin really really soft i absolutely love it I then use my reusable cleansing pad and this one is from Garnier to wipe it off because she's a DIY lash girly. I need to be careful not to get water on my lashes. Next I use my pooling oil. TikTok put me on this and I'm never looking back. It tastes like ass but anything for healthy gums and white teeth okay. And don't ask me how I know what ass tastes like. I just do. I keep this in my mouth for about 10 minutes before brushing every day. To cleanse my face, I'm using my cleansing brush from Foreo. This brush is really expensive, but it massages and cleanses at the same time and is so gentle. I'm using that with my Origins cleanser. It's my second time using this cleanser and it lathers really well. It's very drying though, so I don't recommend it if you have dry skin. I have very oily skin and even for me, it's too much. It cleans my face good, but I just don't like that it strips my oil as much. After spitting out the pooling oil, I quickly brushed my teeth and scraped my tongue. I never talk about it, but you're my muse. So if you hear me call out to you with a telepathic message, baby, you know what to do. Right after that, I flossed. Water flossing is a game changer because a toothbrush alone won't clean the spaces between your teeth. It's so easy to use and doesn't require much effort compared to traditional floss. That's why I like it. I also like to add Listerine to mine, but you can also just use warm water. I do this till the water is done. you want to moisturize right after you come out the shower so your skin is still damp and can retain moisture better i use neutrogena's hydro boost body gel this is a staple in my body care routine and for good reason it will forever be my favorite on top of that i use nooks nourishing oil to lock all that moisture in i know i didn't show it but i used deodorant mine is dove's advanced care dry spray now for skincare starting off with a hydrating toner from fresh i cannot live without this now i use it every single day in the morning and at night my face just loves it next are these capsules from elizabeth arden they recently launched but I think they are amazing. I'm not new to retinol and have been incorporating it in my skincare for years. Retinol is just a form of vitamin A and has anti-aging effects. This one goes on smoothly with a silky texture and I see the effects the next morning. I also use L'Oreal's Hyaluronic Acid Serum for hydration. Before finishing my skincare, I put on Topical's Faded Eye Mask and these are my weekly ritual. That together with this hydrating mask that I grabbed from a Korean skincare store. Don't talk to you But if you wanna find me Here's your excuse I'll send a telepathic message With my coordinates to you And where will you last me? 
out the bathroom to now get dressed have you guys ever heard of or tried period panties i was very skeptical when i first got them from uh lilova but they are very much comfortable than pads and are leak proof i have very heavy flow ones and medium to light ones i think they are the best with the only downside being to have to hand wash them i'm wearing my heavy flow one tonight and this comfy PJ set is from White Fox. To wind down, I like to have some herbal tea, so I'm making myself a cup. This one is lemon and ginger to help boost my immune system, and I sweeten it with some honey. After working in my serum in the mask, I finish off my skincare by using my eye serum from Nooks, eye cream from Elemis, moisturizing with Lancome's soft cream. I apply a good amount of this and top it with Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Night Cream. I like to feel slugged at night so when I wake up, my face still feels nice and moisturized. At this point, I was getting so sleepy from that bath, so I got comfortable in bed and put on my favorite reality show, Love is Blind Season 6. I'm now catching up on the last episode, and when I was recording this, the reunion episode was not out. This show stresses me out. I'll be just screaming at the TV because of the pure tomfoolery I'm witnessing. Did you guys watch it? Spoiler alert, Clay. Clay, how could he say no and then come to the reunion talking about some I love you AD? That man has issues. I got my hot water bottle because I was starting to feel some slight cramps coming through. that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed it please like and comment and i will see you guys in the next video good night